This is the FireWire cable retrofit procedure for Fusion machines only. The purpose of this retrofit is to relocate the new FireWire cable in the IGUS track, providing immunity to motor noise. Here are some before and after images of the FireWire cable in the IGUS track for reference. Here are the parts required. Here are the tools required. The first step is to open PWC by zeroing the machine. Next, remove the feeder banks for better access inside the machine. Now power down the machine. The next step is to remove the side cover. Note the 12 screws in blue are captured screws and screws in A and B are slotted screws. Now lift the machine covers. Completely remove the two screws from the top hinge cover on the Y-axis side as shown. Now loosen the two screws from the opposite side of the hinge cover. Then loosen the four screws from each end of the banana cover. Insert the 33 and a quarter inch long 2x4 between the PWC rails as a temporary support bar for the hinge cover as shown. Now remove the banana cover on the side where the 2x4 is located. Note, be sure to mark the IGUS cable position with a marker on the side of the clamps. Begin with the three X clamps, then proceed with the two Y clamps as shown. Cut the tie wrap securing the existing firewire cable and remove the cable. Now remove the three IGUS cable clamps on the X axis only. Now pull the old firewire cable through the X axis. You may need to move the x-axis back and forth to free up the cable. Now remove the firewire cable from the x-axis entirely. Start routing the new firewire cable from the outside of the machine starting at the 90 degree turn under the existing cables as shown.
Now connect the firewire cable, install the new holder, and secure with two tie wraps. Reinstall the top X clamp, making sure not to pinch the cable. Proceed to put the next X clamp in place and get the screws started. Now check the firewire cable at the IGUS radius as shown. Please make sure you have an eighth inch of play on either side. Slowly tighten the X-axis clamp, double checking the play on the firewire cable. Please make sure not to over tighten the clamp. Secure the last X-axis clamp and double check the firewire cable one last time. Now remove the top Y-axis clamp and mark the four cables accordingly before removing the cable retainer. Slide the four cables as shown into the new cable retainer. Place the other end of the new firewire cable flat inside the machine. Now mark the lower Y-axis cable and remove the clamp and retainer. Remove the firewire repeater bracket and disconnect the firewire cable. Now remove the ferrite suppression filter from the existing firewire cable as shown. Remove the three screws securing the e-stop nose cone. Now remove the pneumatic gauge bracket and air pressure regulator assembly. Now pull out the old firewire cable through the e-stop nose cone. Pull the rest of the firewire cable out through the IGUS. Start to feed the other end of the firewire cable through the Y IGUS as shown. Align the cables, making sure not to pinch or twist them, and tighten the top Y-axis clamp. Now install the new cable retainer and clamp on the bottom Y-axis. Be sure to check for an eighth inch of play on the Y-axis radius. Loop the firewire cable and reinstall the ferrite noise suppressor. Now route the firewire cable through the nose cone down to the repeater. Now replace the pneumatic gauge bracket and air pressure regulator assembly. Install and tighten the e-stop nose cone screws. Install the firewire cable to the repeater, tie wrap, and reinstall bracket. Reinstall all covers and remove the two by four. Please make sure that the top hinge cover screws are tight on both sides. 
Now power up the machine and check for FireWire resets. Document accordingly.